it's amazing to me how people will just talk shit and accuse you of shit when they themselves have not achieved the goals that you've achieved. They'll be petty and jealous and bitter and then they'll go ahead on the internet and like say that they themselves have achieved these goals but they won't show evidence that they've achieved these goals like these ass fuckholes will call you a pseudo intellectual sometimes over the internet maybe this even happens in public to some people but they won't like show a degree like even an AA or a bachelor's or a master's degree or a doctorate they won't show a degree proving that the things that you yourself say are false like as soon as they talk shit and then you talk shit about them back they shut their fucking traps which gives you enough time to block them because they're embarrassed of the fact that they themselves are degenerate pigs and trash but they think that they should just be able to come up and like pretty much break social rules and sometimes even like real rules and real laws just to be rebellious because the law gave up on them or they're just stupid and like you notice on my videos where it's like I'll, I'll say like or dislike this if you like this and then I'll have a topic <clears throat> then I'll wait a couple hours or maybe a day and then I'll come back and take a screenshot with like a laugh emoji and put it on Facebook because what I had said was if you like this or dislike this it doesn't matter to me I'm gonna take it to mean you like this so press thumbs up or thumbs down and for this video it confers that you like this and then I'll you know I'll prove it and it just makes me laugh you know it makes some of my friends laugh to me it doesn't matter if it's one person or a thousand people laughing at what I'm laughing at if people are like only happy when I'm angry or only angry when I'm happy that's on them I like people who are happy when I'm happy but it's like I've had to like train people and that's that's okay because it's like I will understand how something is funny because uh, you know you're funny when you're laughing about something as you're writing it. And then you look and it's not like 2 rated R and it's not 2 rated G. It's kind of in like a nice PG or PG-13 level to where it's not like too gross or too mean-spirited. So you put it up, you know, and, and like uh, you wait. Because you're laughing your ass off as you... As you uh, as you write this and then you'll put it on Facebook or something or YouTube or whatever and uh, you'll notice it'll get like cry reactions but you were like laughing like I've I know you're like me and you've listened to comics explain what it means to be a comic uh, where they'll be like writing something and they're laughing their ass off as they're writing it so they know they're funny so there's people out there in the world that would find it funny and it's like sure enough you wait long enough people will find it funny because it's not like it's not even really blue humor that I'm doing or brown humor or dark humor really it just kind of like PG humor you know a lot of cuss words but not really a lot of innuendo not a lot of like references to murder or anything like that a lot of times it is rated G and it's just funny you know like atheist humor or, you know, political humor that isn't too acerbic or gallows. And people will, like, look at that, like, and they'll start, like, weeping with the reactions. And it's like you have to put a laugh-react emoticon to know, to, to tell them that it's funny. It's supposed to be funny. You know? Some of the stuff I've done is not meant to be funny. Uh... Not everything Russell Brand does or uh, Henry Rollins, who I've mentioned before, or John Stewart does is necessarily supposed to be humorous, but it's pretty obvious when something is funny or not. If you're like 
if you watch the video as the writer and you laugh and then you look and you look and you look and it's not like too cutting and it's not too bigoted and you laugh, you know that it's it's not rated G and it's not it's not like Disney humor, but it's not like HBO humor. Or maybe it is sometimes, but you're still laughing, but it's not like threatening humor, you know what I mean? It's not like, and it's not even forced. It's just like, I will be writing something and I'll realize it's funny. Because I've been with friends before where I've laughed at things that we all in the group find funny. So it's like, I know my audience is out there because I've made my friends laugh. I mean, you've noticed my... Facebook plenty enough to know that uh, I've said some things that are funny and meant to be funny. That's why I get so offended by people calling me a troll is because the term is not troll, the term is comedian. It's like people that say incel just because you're involuntary celibate. Those people to me are morons because there's a big difference between a bachelor and an incel or a comic and a troll and I just look at these people like they're stupid. Which they pretty much are. If you have to like dictate to somebody what's humorous and you know that your audience is out there because you've played things in public or done things in public as I have. Amongst friends, even amongst strangers. Where you, uh, you may have gotten a laugh for things and you know the, the funny bones that people have. And people don't really... Uh, uh, don't understand it. Well, it doesn't matter to me based on proof. I mean, you prove that uh, I'm not funny. You know, it's that's on you. I'm sure you can get moments where I'm not funny, but I know when I'm funny, and I know as a comedian on the internet what's funny and what's not, and I know that being called a troll is not funny, but they do it, so I just say I'm not a troll, but I am funny, and I block them because there's no real reason to hang on to people gaslighting my uh, work because I see it as art and you know that's really on them so like if I have a video which is a lot of them now where it's like I say press like or dislike on this to relate to me that you like this video and they press dislike I just you know take a screenshot and put it on social media and make fun of them because they're not really all that intelligent. If you dislike my videos where I've denoted that a dislike on this video will denote a like, I, I'm still going to laugh at you because you're just so stupid that you press dislike when I say a dislike equals a like. It's really on you. Your brain is really not all there. But I would imagine more people are laughing at it because people like talk to me all the time. I'm not going to dox these people to prove it. It's not really up to me to prove to something to a bunch of trash degenerate pigs that call other people that are not trash degenerate pigs trash degenerate pigs you know that's gaslighting like a homeless person coming up to you and calling you a crack addict when you're not doing anything crack addicty is an example of gaslighting it's psychological projection and they're the ones that are idiotic and pretty much disturbing the peace which is against the law uh, that's why they do it on the internet a lot I mean, I'll walk around. The homeless population, you can kind of hear their grouchy, sort of like dumb shit uh, antics. And I'm not saying it's even the majority. It's always the loud people, you know, and it doesn't take, you know, you could have a crowd of a thousand people and ten rowdy, obnoxious dipshits. That doesn't mean that everybody is a loud, rowdy, obnoxious dipshit. It's just that the loud ones get noticed. So when they like screech and howl at stuff that isn't funny, and everybody else is looking at them like they're stupid. Walk around your own town at night or any point in the day and you'll notice like there's moments where there's like laughter from like the dumb ghetto people or like the dumb white trash or the dumb homeless people. And everybody else is kind of just carrying about on their business. They'll be yelling terrorist or something like that or idiot when they're the ones that are the idiots or the terrorists. I know a guy named Jason Perva, but every other word out of his mouth, even though he was a Christian, was a lie. And that, of course, breaks the ninth commandment of the Ten Commandments. Like, if I was getting headway with some girl that was his friend, 
he would start lying to me about her age in order to make me feel guilty. He had a cross tattoo. So he was very serious about his uh, Christianity. And he and I, uh, like, he knew that I was an atheist because I told him. And he, I knew that he was a Christian because he had a cross tattoo. We never really discussed religion. But the dude, like, lied all the time. And, like, every, like, Christian or religious person that I've ever met has been, like, a total liar. Or, um, or like, a bigot or a drug addict or just like a bad person like 90% of the time probably even more like 99% of the time like the good people are the ones like serving the food and humble about it and not demanding anything in return but the ones that are like giving and demanding things in return it's okay to want things and to have desires and to mention that you help people <clears throat> but if you're like grouchy and mean about not getting what you want you're the problem and I used to be that way, and I'm not really that way anymore because the people uh, rebelled against that. Now they're just unhappy that I'm happy. And, like, you hear people, like, talking shit sometimes. And, like, you'll, you'll think, well, that doesn't make any sense because there are times when they'll be talking shit and, like, a whole group of people will come up and, and say to them, you know, you guys are talking shit and you're the ones in the wrong. And you know that's true because, like, in your head, you're thinking, this isn't right. They're doing this all in reverse. They're saying things that are the opposite. They're saying things about themselves that are actually about other people. And you'll see these moments where people, like, roll up and they're like, what the fuck are you? You know, they'll be like, dude, you calm down. You're the one talking shit. You're, you're calling people schizophrenic when you're a schizophrenic kind of, like, thing, a psychological projection. So, like, if you laugh at your own shtick because you're writing it, you know you're funny. It doesn't really matter what 50 trolls say or 100 trolls. I look at the amount of people that watch the videos and I look at the people that uh, dislike and I look at the people that like. That still doesn't mean anything. I watch a video. I used to watch videos all the time on YouTube where I didn't hit the like button. But I would enjoy them. There's statuses on social media where I like what they have to say and I don't press like because it's like it might be like a big mother load of shit <clears throat> where I'll like be looking and it's like okay this is funny this is funny this is funny I just you know I can't keep pressing like because it hurts my wrist you know there's moments during the day during the week where it's just like everybody on Facebook is is on fire so I'm just like looking and kind of smirking and, and, and nodding my head and like rolling on and just not pressing the like. So I understand why you wouldn't press the like. But I don't understand why you press the dislike or even why that's available on Facebook because happiness depends upon being kind to others. It's just how the brain and the body work, especially the brain. If you're good to others, it releases serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine from your brain. If you're rude to others, it releases stress chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline and testosterone. And it just makes you feel bad. So I don't understand why you want to deal with the headache of it. Just, like, leave it alone. Go find some happiness in life. Go be kind to others. So you, f you find in life that there's a lot of people that are mean-spirited and they'll shoot you down with their narcissism and they'll bring up the past of things you're not even talking about and they'll act like the expert on things when they have no credentials whatsoever it's like who the fuck are these people if you want to have happiness in your life and feel good you have to be good to people if you're out there talking shit and you and you and you feel bad, which will happen 100 percent of the time. You talk enough shit about one or two people that uh, enough people like, you're gonna feel like shit. Even if you were in Nazi Germany talking shit about Hitler during the time of Hitler, with all those people around that supported him, you would still feel like shit. You look at the faces of the people during World War II that were talking shit about Hitler and trying to get out of Germany. They still felt like shit because of the popularity. So it's not like Trump, because there's so many fucking people that hate Trump now, like two-thirds of the country, that when I talk shit about Trump, I feel good because I'm in the majority. 
when I talk shit about capitalist pig leftists, especially hypocrite capitalist pig leftists, I feel good because there's plenty of people out there that notice hypocrisy from liberals, and those are points where the Republicans and I sort of like agree. So it, you know, there's always like a huge ass group of, of people that I routinely pick on, which is usually Republicans or narrow-minded liberals or people that I regard as stupid or mean-spirited that I, you know, poke fun at enough that it makes me happy to poke fun of that, that, that kind of evil. And, you know, them saying like the same old things over and over again uh, really doesn't... Uh, I don't know, it, I, I would imagine that uh, it gives them a headache to read like or dislike equals like. Because I can say things that are funny all the time that do get laughs from people. In public. On the internet. To where it doesn't really matter to me what a bunch of trolls think. So, like or dislike this video if you like this video. If you're stupid enough to press dislike, I'm smart enough to get a good dopamine dose from my brain or serotonin from you pretty much just agreeing with me that you're an idiot. I mean, have a good time with that. That's, that's nothing but entertainment for me. You're, you're the dumb shits. Just a bunch of parrots, too.